Well, as sure as death and taxes. There's an update 8.01 to complement update 8 that dropped on the 28th of October. Yes, folks, Frontier Development have turned around and released update notes for update 8.1 for Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Now, as part of this, they're going to be doing some client-side fixes, uh, so they're going to have to update the game files as well. So in 8.1, a fix has been implemented to address some severe camera shake persisting after a Thargoid interceptor has scanned you. Haven't seen that myself, though I haven't been anywhere near Thargoids for a couple of months, to be fair. Too much going on. Um, in the main part of the game. They've implemented a fix as well to address camera shaking persistently after players are shot multiple times in combat, close proximity of heavy gunfire. I haven't seen that either. Another fix to address a crash that could occur during a Thargoid encounter. All seems to be around what the Thargoids. Is there something going on with the Thargoids that I don't know about? Larceny missions will now grant rewards correctly. Now, larceny, don't get me started on this, it's hardly what you call a bank heist. It's go, pick something up without getting caught and come back. That's what the missions are so far. And I'm going to do a video on what my thoughts of larceny really should be um, in the next couple of weeks. Takedown missions will now once again grant goods, assets and data as mission rewards instead of ship engineering materials and improvements made to invite tracking for on-foot engineer Ellen Abressa, one of the new engineers in Colonia, uh, when disembarking at settlements in Colonia, whatever that means. Okay, so the next bit is a few other bits as well. Um, there's been some more feedback coming in in regards to Odyssey performance. I think they might have thought they'd fixed it, you know, but to be fair, they haven't. There is still, it's running better on my 3080, to be fair, but it's not running as good for other people on, you know, machines that are easily in excess of the game's minimum standards. And even I'm getting a few frame drops here and there as well, uh, which I think Obsidian Ant also mentioned in his recent video. So they're going to be doing additional checking as well of all the reports coming in for the performance side of stuff. So um, with any major update, they've had loads of feedback. They've got investigations into Colonia engineer progression issues. So you've gone all the way out there to do these engineers, you can't progress. Uh, some odd behavior, reactivation, massacre, restore missions. So all the missions that are really worthwhile doing, not completing for commanders. So, hmm, kind of breaks the game really, doesn't it? Uh, looking into other issues uh, around missions in general, including ship rewards for on-foot missions, queries, delayed loading of stations. Um, yeah, I've noticed that. It was an Oculus station, loaded in, back end was there, and then a couple of seconds later, three or four seconds, then the massive sort of eye section of the main part of the station popped in as well. Um, backward engine trails. How would this happen? And then strange behavior around unrestricted access areas acting restricted. Well, that might be by design, who knows? Um, so when you think about this, investigation into colonial engineers, progression issues, so that's broken. Um, Facilities in system map is appearing blank. Oh, fantastic. Um, again, odd behavior with the main missions. Activation, massacre, restore missions, not completing. I say that kind of really does it, doesn't it? You know, I mean, that's it. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what this uh, update actually fixes. And is there going to be an 8.02 update prior to update 9, which they've just released? Uh, perhaps need to get this sort of fixed out first as well. But hats off to Frontier for bring, coming out with this 8.01 update to update 8 and fixing some of the issues and also addressing that they're working on some of the other issues that have been reported via the telemetry that's coming back off people's crash systems and also from the forum threads as well. I've been Ricardo, thanks very much for watching, I'll see you soon.